Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shahzad and I am here again with a new video. So today we are going to install ESXi uh, server on VirtualBox and we will see how we can install ESXi in, in a VirtualBox without any error. Uh, so before starting this uh, lab, uh, if you are new on my channel, I would like you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. So let's go and start. First of all, we will create a one machine on our virtual box. If I go on my virtual box, here you see, here is my virtual box. I have some old virtual machines, which is for my other labs. But uh, this one today, we will create a new machine for ESXi. So let's go and create. First, you have to go uh, into the new and then you have to give a, a, a name of the virtual machine. We are installing ESXi. So I will give 01, this is my first ESXi. And I will choose, uh, if you have a, a space on a C drive, it's okay, but it's up to you where you want to put. I don't have a much space on E drive, I will go on D. And I'll go in my folder, which I made like ESXi virtual box lab. And ESXi won this folder, I will select, and this folder I will select. Secondly, you have to select here Linux and then you will come here and you will select others Linux 64 bit and then go next. Here uh, minimum uh, requirement is 4 GB. So you must have a 4 GB RAM, uh, at least uh, 4 GB uh, it's recommended. If you go less like 3 GB or 2 GB, some people try to select that 2 GB, 3 GB, GB but they will uh, get some errors and uh, uh, maybe other some issues like network adapter not not connected or something like that. So you better uh, you go with the 4 GB minimum because my laptop I have a 16 GB so it's okay my laptop can run this one. So better uh, give a 4 GB and go next. And here you have to create a virtual hard drive. I will go create. In creation, you can choose a virtual box or virtual. I, I always use for ESXi, VHDK, this virtual hard disk I used, not only specific for virtual box. So I will go next. And here, this is the critical place. A lot of people do next, next, and they are making a dynamic allocated uh, disk for this ESXi. But this will encounter an error. If you go with the dynamic, it will encounter an error, uh, error surely that the network uh, adapter is not connected or physical adapter not connected, NIC is not found like that errors. So you must choose a fixed size. Keep in mind, you must choose a fixed size here for when you are creating a hard disk. So choose a fixed size and click next. Here, uh, people some using 10 GB, I will go prefer for 15 GB. Uh, because I have enough space on my D drive. So I will go 15 GB for this one and I will go create. I'm going to click on create because we choose the fixed, fixed hard disk. For, so it will take 2-3 minutes to complete the, this uh, process to build, uh, make a virtual hard drive. And when this hard drive is ready, I'll come back and we'll move forward. Okay guys, I'm here again and you can see it's make our storage drive. Here is VHDK and 15 GB is created. So after giving and creation this one, one more thing you have to do like go into the settings and you must choose like uh, two uh, processors. So it's also requirement for the ASXi you at least have two processors. So right now my is i7, core i7. Uh, my you know computer laptop and uh, I can easily give two core so second this one is uh, you must choose pro uh, processors two. okay then go into the networks and I will choose my host only adapter and uh, I will enable the second one also for host only adapter I will choose this one because second maybe later I will go use this one to another install ESXi and we'll do a like a migration RV motion labs Anyway, so uh, these settings, uh, keep in mind, I'm going to remind always when you're creating a hard drive, choose fixed size. Secondly, minimum RAM should be a 4 GB and processors at least two. So minimum two, you must choose it and click OK. So after that, we have to mount the our 
uh, installation image I will go again to the settings and I will go into the storage and I will go into this one and I will choose my ESXi 6.0 which is uh, I have downloaded so 6.0.0 ISO I will choose here and I will click OK and after clicking OK it will bring us uh, as at this point we are ready to go for start the machine so I'll click on star okay after starting you have to because I have uh, uh, other things in my cache that's why it's choosed from there but when you have a single pointer there already it will be there so see my SXI image is here so I will go start here we go so first screen here I will hit enter and it will start installation So I would suggest that the guy who is coming new first subscribe my channel second uh, before going through the your own lab must you take up paper and pen and uh, note down all the checkpoints like uh, two processors 4 GB RAM and fix her size hard drive so then it will work on virtual machines because a lot of people they are uh, encounter with the errors when uh, they are going to install ESXi on a virtual box Moreover, I can show you the my virtual boxes I am running is on this version 6.1. So if you have the same version, it's okay. Our latest one, that's that's better. See the ESXi server showing us the memory is 4 GB and uh, uh, Core i7 processor. Okay, here we go. See, we saw uh, our installation wizard uh, message. So I will click, uh, I will hit enter. And here we have to uh, accept the agreement. If a lot of new laptops, they have uh, uh, sometime when you click on F11 and it's coming on your host uh, laptop. So better you press your FN function key and then press F11. So it will go uh, accept the license and it will proceed. Okay, here is only ATA, our uh, 15 GB hard drive. It's okay, we'll hit enter. Yes, the keyboard will select default. And the, here is the root password. Here we go, enter.
so here it will take a little time so scanning the whole system and uh, when it's completed I will come back okay here we go there is a one warning after scanning that's the showing that your the host has an unsupported device like this it's, it's okay with my laptop maybe you will not have in your laptop it's only a warning and keep in mind if there is an error you have to address that error so this is a warning for my laptop it's okay i will proceed with my laptop no issues i'm sure it will be different on your laptops but it's okay we can proceed hit enter and f11 for install the esxi so i will again press my function key and i will click on uh, f11 yes and it will start installation of uh, esxi server Okay, so see our uh, installation is completed and uh, successfully completed and it's asking for hit enter to reboot. I will hit enter and it will reboot our ESXi server. So here we go. So it will start uh, ESXi server first time, then we can set the management IP address and other things. okay here you go see right now we don't have any address and anything you will hit enter like a f f2 to customize i will go and uh, 
give a password which we choose during the installation hit enter and then again for go f2 and here you can come and you can configure your uh, management interface I will configure this one and I will choose uh, set static come with, uh, use your keyboard arrow keys come down and then press the space bar and here I will give the IP address 17 I uh, will give like .168.0.1 I will use it or maybe 2 for my ESXi server in the 24-bit mask and I will use uh, 172.168.0.1 my gateway so I will hit enter and see our uh, ESXi is ready now so if I go back is asking for save I will press Y yes it's saved and see we have our management IP there and, uh, and if we go back so here you can see our management IP is here so right now at this point our ESXi is uh, fully installed and up and running one more thing I will go and check on my ESXi if we go here in ESXi and go into the machine uh, sorry in the file and uh, host network manager and you can see here is the uh, hosts are different so I will choose this this was for my old uh, virtual uh, these are the virtual machines and I was using this one for my lab so it's okay if you want to change the password uh, the uh, IP address uh, you can change it so because this IP address belongs to your laptop so let's go I will choose 10.10.10.10 uh, .10 I will go and re-enter the again our ESXi and I will change the password I will change the IP address okay and you can change it how to change you can check okay so here, here I will go with the 10.10.10.10 my first ESXi and here is 10.10.10.1 so hit enter and that's it and press escape give Y for save and then go back and here you go your IP is changed so if you see here is the same matched with our our other machines with the host only adapters so that right now my laptop is pinging on this one so if you want to check uh, the ESXi is working fine we can check from our laptop like ping 10.10.10.10 see we are getting reply from ESXi server and if we go to open our ESXi server in our web browser if you want we can try here dot ten dot ten dot ten enter and we'll go more go to proceed and see here it's asking for download a vSphere client or you can direct will go to the installation so right now I don't have any vSphere client so we can open from there so this is the uh, lab for today how we install the ESXi server and uh, if you guys like my video kindly uh, click on like button and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel uh, and see you until next video